Hey guys, uh, welcome back again to the channel. So since summer is coming, I decided to make a video on how you can change uh, the thermal pads and the thermal paste uh, on your GPU since I decided to do mine because I had a problem uh, with the temperature of my GPUs apparently uh, to clog up and corrosion inside my loop so here we go obviously first we begin with the back plate uh, as 99.9% .9 of the GPUs removing the screws and then after you move off all with a little bit of persuasion you are going to split up the cooler from the GPU being careful obviously not to pull away too much because we have cables we have the thermal pads that are already in so yeah be careful remove the cables from the RGB header or usually the cables for uh, the fans if you have um, an air cooled one uh, I have a water cooled but it's basically the same and there you go now it is uh, separated as, as you see and we begin the tedious pro process of cleaning the GPU and the, um, uh, the memory chips uh, and the MOSFETs and everything where uh, it had thermal pads or paste in it. We need to clean that with um, rubbing alcohol or isopropyl alcohol or 99, uh, over 90% alcohol uh, and anything would be good uh, for uh, this kind uh, of use. After you clean everything good, now I know I'm going to use the same thermal pads unfortunately because mine didn't arrive but you should not do that. Uh, if you open the card you should definitely replace the thermal pads. My thermal pads in this particular uh, GPU, uh, the Gaming OC Water Edition Revision 1, it, has, uh, two, it had uh, two millimeter thermal pads on the memory and one millimeter thermal pads uh, on the other stuff, the MOSFET, the MOSFETs uh, and everything else. Obviously don't forget to clean up uh, the cooler also where uh, the thermal pads were. So we clean the content and when we get the new thermal pads in, we're going to have a much better uh, contact with the cooler. So don't forget to do that also. Okay, after that, in my case, it's going to be the removal of um, uh, of the plastic shroud uh, for uh, the water cooling system. Obviously, if you have uh, an air cooled uh, GPU, you might want to remove uh, uh, the fans to clean them up, but you can leave them there. You don't have to do it. But in my case, it's a little bit extreme because when I open it, oh my god, look at the freaking gunk. It is a really bad situation and uh, even the, uh, as you see, even the plastic shroud is full of it. But most of all, oh my god, the fins are really are in a really, really bad condition. Uh, almost, uh, almost clocked up uh, everything as you see and um, yeah, I had uh, just uh, distilled water with a little bit of uh, anti-corrosion in it uh, agent but apparently it didn't help and it has built up uh, unfortunately really really bad so in my case I decided to clean it uh, to go first with the rubbing alcohol uh, and see how it would go obviously with uh, with a soft brush not a too strong uh, too uh, strong one I just uh, I tried it uh, as best as I could but unfortunately it didn't work especially on the fins uh, no matter how uh, how how hard I tried with um, with the brush uh, it wouldn't come off so basically it was not a clog up for debris or something but it was a build up I think it was really corrosion and as you see here after the cleanup even the plastic shroud it's not cleaned up because it's not something that has built up but it's something that has eaten up uh, the cooler but obviously uh, the fins uh, of the cooler but obviously the plastic shroud and it was even worse as I went ahead because chunk of aluminium uh, came right off uh, the cooler and uh, yeah the situation was really bad then I decided to go on internet for a little bit of further investigation and unfortunately for me I found out that this revision one of this uh, water cooler from Gigabyte was a really terrible cooler with a with a really bad chunk of aluminium really bad coating on the aluminium so basically it was not the problem of my loop and what I had uh, put in it but 
it is the problem of the cooler i will leave the link on the video description so you might go ahead and watch it uh, because there are other gpus that were having the same problem so uh, then at the end as uh, my desperate uh, last attempt uh, attempt I decided to go ahead with a needle and go between the fins as much as I could. Obviously trying to be as much as uh, possible careful, but uh, yeah, at the end the damage was inevitable because the chunk of aluminum ca uh, came out uh, from the brush. So it, it it's uh, really a build problem, not um, my problem. So as you see, this is uh, the, uh, the final result. Mm yeah really bad unfortunately so it means that new cooler is coming up i have ordered it and obviously i will share the video when the new cooler will come up and hopefully we'll fix this uh, gpu with that cooler now for the assembly process basically it's uh, everything on reverse we put in the o-ring uh, then obviously the plastic cooler one tip that i would give you try not to over tighten uh, the uh, the screws of the uh, of the water cooler because uh, it will uh, it will uh, affect on the water flow so keep that in mind and then uh, for the other part obviously as I told you just reverse uh, put in the cooler put in the screws and then obviously the thermal paste now for the thermal paste if you use the GPU for gaming I would suggest you spread the thermal paste with a little spoon if you have it uh, but since I use mine for mining, I don't use the GPU core, so I don't mind. I'm not gonna spread uh, the thermal paste on the GPU uh, because it's fine. I'm not using the GPU uh, core itself, actually. But if you use it for gaming, you might want to spread the, uh, to spread the thermal paste. Okay, and after that, uh, just be careful not to forget about the RGB header or fan header if you have uh, a fan one and uh, align it as best as you can obviously push it a little bit uh, firmly to position and then align the holes uh, to put in the screws and basically just put in all the screws beginning with the screws uh, around the GPU core and then going over the other screws that uh, keeps on the cooler and obviously the back plate uh, in place and basically that's it there you have it guys I hope it was helpful if you have any question leave them down below and I will try my best to help you out and uh, yeah don't forget to subscribe well like share uh, all the good uh, stuff that you guys know and as usual I will catch you guys on the next one bye bye